Hi guys, welcome to the right final review of the Meng 1700 Missouri and uh, since end of the month quick bench update to what's coming and what I've been sent so first off um, I had a nice surprise during the week I had this come um, it was from um, let's just turn that light away a minute maybe from David Hayscroft he sent me this for a very nice note so he's looking for his stash and he thought maybe I'll send the kit to me. So thank you, David. Very much appreciated. Also known as Housey. Um, what I should do, I should put a link in the bottom for his YouTube channel. He just started a brand new YouTube channel and uh, could do with some sums really to open along. He's a great builder, does some great stuff. So uh, if you haven't, go with Dave and sub to him. Much appreciated. Um, this will be, he said I haven't got to do a video build, but I will do a video build of this one. So, but it's going to be a little while before I start it, I think, because I've got other things before that, am I? So, moving on to what's next. So what's next is, as you know, the invader. That's going to be the next video build. Um, I've been wait, waiting for parts. I got a PE cockpit and I had to wait for some paint. Paint's come and the PE's come. So I'll start videoing this build. So here we go with this one. Um, so that will be done. And I also got, as you know, you saw the last video. I'm going to video build this one as well. Whether it'll be alongside or whether it'll be after I've done the invader, I'm not too sure. But that was definitely going to be built. Um, Type 22 free, 23 frigate, HMS came. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to having a go at this. Modern day, fairly modern day warship. Um, or frigate. So, yes, looking forward to that. So, now on to what I've built. What's on the bench? I got a busy bench to be honest. This one. We have now completed this. After the last video I saw I only had a few more bits to put on really, so I decided to um I decided to put them on. Great kit. I think it's a beautiful kit. For a 1700, it's very well detailed. It snapped together. Which, yes, it does snap together. A few bits is a bit hard. But I think if anyone's going to make this, and make it decent. I've snapped it together. I wanted a quick build just to cover me while I'm waiting for the PE for the other kit and that. So I just snapped it together. I used a bit of glue in places. Um, and been painted whatsoever. All I'd done was I'd run a bit of uh, pin wash over it. Tone the decks down with a bit of grey pin wash, and that's it. But if you mind a good tone on it, it make a beautiful one seven hundred uh, Missouri, very well detailed. Um, yeah, brilliant. Love building this. Quick build. I mean, I'd try and do the aircraft carrier. I lost a prop by the looks of it again. I lost that one this morning, so I don't know where that one's gone. But there. That was just a gap fill, really. Didn't realise it was a snap kit until it came. When it came as a snap kit, I thought I'd give it a go. Just to fill the gap. But there. Absolutely brilliant little ship. So what else is on my bench? What else have I been working on here? Got all sorts going on, to be honest. In my... Oh, bugger. Okay. Dropped half of it, but there, I've been working on this guy as well. This is me, uh, mini art tractor. He ain't going to stand there nosing. But anyway, I've been working on this as well. Just stand this up a minute, give you some idea. 
on what's happening here. There they go. So I've been working on this as well. Um, it's coming on. Mini art trap there was nice. I don't know if I can pick it up and show you because they're all going to fall off. But finished the mini art tractor there, the trailer, a lot of figures there, the kit mobile kitchen, um, and that and that will be. Should get on and finish it really now. But I have fairly enjoyed this building. The tractor in the beginning, um, I thought, oh, a lot of far tiny little bits and that. Got quite frustrated with it, really. But I uh, got there in the end. It's gone together quite well. Um, as you know, mini art kits are great kits, but they can be a bit fiddly. So I've been doing that. So that's work in progress there. So I'll put that one back up at the way. And as some of you know, I also do the 28 mil. This is the Empress figures, the metal ones. So I don't get to see them very well, really. Some of you are interested, um, but focus. The 28 mil Empress figures, the tiny little things they are, they really are. And I'm hoping to put that into a dial, I started um, first time attempt really but I started to make some cardboard houses up which I'm hoping to uh, I've got to finish off in these slates and you know, frames and things like that but I thought it's cheap cardboard isn't it we all got plenty of cardboard about and I thought I'd give it a go so work in progress really, hope I make a dial with these, with these guys running around down a then the road sort of thing. So there. <clears throat> That's about it, guys. That's what I've been up to. And uh, just like to thank everyone for subbing and uh, commenting. Uh, much appreciated. And uh, thanks to the guys that bought me a coffee this month. Very much appreciated. Thank you. So until next time, this should be the, the Invader build. I wish you... A good week and stay safe. Bye.